Hi, this is Jody. Welcome back. So we are in the second week of December. <clears throat> and this is my last journal that I'll be listing in my Etsy shop. And um, December is very busy for me, uh, of course, for everyone. It's time for family and gatherings. Uh, of course, shopping and getting ready for the holidays. Um, uh, as you might know in my previous videos, um, I've just been battling like respiratory issues and uh, finally getting over um, <clears throat> two months of this. So, <laughs> so this, I, I've sold out out of all of my Christmas journals that I've made. So, I am going to be listing this one. This is my last journal, a Christmas journal of 2022 that I will be having in my Etsy shop. So this one is really, really fun. And it was the first time that I had ever <clears throat> attempted this. And I kind of searched. Okay, well, let me back up. So in one of my haul videos, um, I was at my favorite thrift store and it's the little off the beaten path one and they always have record albums uh, for like 50 cents or a dollar and the last time I was in there which was a couple months ago now I ran into this beautiful um, you know the large album of Christmas music and I will, if I can figure out how to uh, tap in the picture of what the album looked like before I started this journal, I will try to do that because I'm not sure if I know how to put a picture inside a video. Um, <clears throat> so I had the idea <clears throat> of taking this album cover and making it into a journal. Now I kind of searched... Um, YouTube, <clears throat> excuse me, YouTube and Pinterest for some ideas of how other people did it. I only ran into a couple people that I see did them and it was like years ago and it was not how I did it. So let me take you through this and as I said, this started out as a vintage record album, the big album. And so let's take a look uh, first at the uh, charm that I made for it. No, actually, let's talk about the cover because then I'll talk about the charm, how I made it. Okay, so here is the cover. And let me show you this. Oh, there's a little glare, sorry. So this is the cover, and then down here was the words, which are inside the cover, I'll show you, of like the um, names of the songs and that kind of thing. Um, then there was like a little band up here. I wanted to capture these three carolers. They just have beautiful, um, this is like a painting, beautiful, beautiful, pictures look at their their lips and you know they have you know fur coats on and then those little you know um what do you call it not gloves but it's like you put your hands inside it because you can see them down here and on this side and it just grabbed my attention <clears throat> and that's why I decided I wanted to make a journal out of it so what I did is for the little hand uh fluffy things I put this uh, flower, you know, I really don't even know what you call them, but I, you know, they make barrettes and stuff out of them, but let me bring it up here and show you. They're kind of like a, you know, a really fine fabric and it's like a made into a flower. So I wanted to bring out the dimension of this cover. And then here, this gal has burgundy and black. She has like a black hat and black, you know, the mittens or the, I don't, if you know what that's called, where you put your hands in, <laughs> let me know. 
And then, so she had the black scarf. So what I did is I took a piece of that, same stuff. I don't know if you can see it because it's so black. Um, this same stuff here, these flowers, and I cut a strip to make it kind of a 3D for her scarf, which is black. <clears throat> So that was my idea. I didn't really want to add any more stuff to the front of this because I wanted to showcase the beautiful carolers on all three sides, like that. So I didn't want to put a bunch of lace, a bunch of stuff, um, because this is the whole purpose of the journal, is these three beautiful carolers. So down here this was absolutely perfect this it was on the album so it was stamped on the album cover for probably giving as a gift back then uh, so I just thought that was really appropriate so I definitely cut the journal size so that this could be on there so um, so I scored it this was a really thick uh, double cover like and so I scored it and made the bend to it. I rounded the corners. As you can see, there's a little bit of like gold uh, paint around the edges, um, you know, to cover kind of that cardboard color underneath. And then so for the tassel, so for the tassel, let me um, open it back up here. So for the tassel, I wanted to bring out all of the color <clears throat> and elements um, of the cover. So I chose <clears throat> this little teal bulb here. It's kind of just plastic, and I had some in my stash, and it's just kind of like has, what do you call these, uh, the pipe cleaners? So it's kind of like a pipe cleaner and it's just wound around my pearls here. So I wanted to bring out all of the colors. So she has the teal here. We have lots of white here, <clears throat> pearls. This is a vintage button, a covered fabric covered button. <clears throat> Sorry, let me zoom down. <clears throat> Um, so I got some burgundy ribbon here, which comes from her jacket. Here's some, oh, like satiny type mesh ribbon. There's a snowflake here, <clears throat> some fat pieces of fabric, and this has got the music notes on it to go with the theme of the journal. <clears throat> some lace, here's some black satin to go with hers. Um, there's some candy canes, golds, some laces. Uh, here's some um, crinkled seam binding. Here's some vintage yellow bias tape that I've kind of uh, wrinkled and washed so it would fray. So that's kind of the yellows in her hair. And then down here on this, the yellow here on the jingle bells. <clears throat> and then of course I have gold and silver and then I have a Scrabble piece uh, for the letter C for Christmas got a jingle bell here's a little gold um, uh, you know like a faux light bulb little element here to match these what else is on here snowflake those are kind of the elements Oh, I have another button. Where's the button? Oh, here's another button. Here's another fabric button. And it is kind of the maroon color to match her uh, jacket here. So, and then I just put some um, tool here, kind of filler and some other colors just to keep, you know, matching the elements of the front cover and then here is a green um, kind of bow which goes with all the green here in the cover and then I just cho chose a brass um, not a jump ring but 
it's the kind where you put your keys on so it's a really heavy duty one and then the yellow I really like the yellow that matches the um, bell down here and then this is just a paper clip because I didn't want to put any holes here if I did it would be right here in her head so I chose not to do that I wanted to do the uh, paper clip style which just you just paper clip on the inside here and it hangs down and then you can easily um, take it off so then you can easily take it off um, and it's on and off without any issues so okay so let's go inside and uh, take a look at this adorable journal and it measures uh, five and a half by nine nice size it's filled up really good got lots of good things and then there's definitely some room in here although with my pom-poms on here it started to get wide here but so let's take a look okay so for the front pockets this is the wording from the album it was either up here or down here um, so I took that off and made it a pocket on both the front and the back so you have um, you know Merry Christmas carols with organ and chimes this is you know part of the album all right and then for what I chose for the end papers is some vintage foiled wrapping paper on both sides of that and then um, it is a hidden spine so there's nothing sewed into this cover because I didn't want anything to come on her pretty uh, you know the the threads to come through on her face so um, it's uh, fabric and a piece of this record album and then it's glued into the uh, spine so like that so it's hidden so now I took her uh, little faux scarf and wrapped it around to the inside I just thought it was really cute here we have a paint chip so this I put some gold washi on it all the way around I backed it with some um, tan colored paper for journaling on and I thought that was really cool I'm trying to make this really uh, retro and with the theme of the cover and the time of this album and here um, in my haul, one of my hauls, I found on eBay some uh, enclosure cards and I thought, oh my gosh, these make wonderful little journaling cards because they're plain and they have like beautiful fronts on them. So uh, I tucked one of these in here. This is, let me zoom down just a little bit more so you get a better close up. This is the coin wrappers. Um, I showed this in one of my hauls. Uh, so these are vintage and they come in all different colors and of course the widths are different. So what I did is I did some stamping on it and I made a little tag that goes inside there that you can journal on and it is so cute. So I did that. This one here, I made a tag. Whoops made a uh, tag this is a vintage photo out of the reminisce book I love love that book so here's a beautiful photo of three little girls and I believe there's a little boy back there uh, looking at the Christmas tree and um, so I just made this tag and I backed it with a craft paper for journaling Okay, then we have a train uh, this is a vintage train switching record uh, it's a tablet I have I that was in one of my hauls a long 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 time ago that I got at a flea market did some stamping on the white pages I didn't want to do anything else because I want to save it for the um, the new owner this you will see on the other side this is some vintage stationery 
Now you'll see several pages of this. This is all naturally um, aged here. This is from a vintage book. I love this book. I love it so much that I bought three, no, four copies of this book. <laughs> um, this comes from this, my big Christmas book, and it is from the 60s, if I remember right. I think I might have tore the pages out already on, on the dates. Um, let me look real quick. But I did talk about it. Yep, I, I've i already used some of the front pages, so I will have to grab the other book, but I believe that's the 60s, uh, 50s or 60s uh, book. And I love the pages in it. It's very thick pages, and I just love the retro uh, colors and stuff they use. So you'll see a lot of pages of these in here. Okay, this is part of some Christmas stationery. I love this font. It says Merry Christmas. Most of this paper here is all like scrapbook um, type paper pads. Um, everything in my journals are thrifted, unwanted, recycled items. I do not use digitals at all whatsoever. So all of my uh, stuff in here is just all repurposed. Now this pocket here is from a children's Christmas story book and I just kind of used, oh, my decorative scissors, these here. I have a whole uh, carousel here of a, a bunch of different styles. So I just kind of cut around it and made that into a pocket and then here I made a journaling card uh, this is a page from uh, a children's Christmas book it says Q oh it was uh, the alphabet Christmas alphabet Q is for quilt for a long winter's nap I just thought that's so adorable just did some fancy edging here so it's a journal card to write on or you could put a photo back here Okay, here is um, a scorecard, a large scorecard for, um, gosh, what do they call that again? Um, tally cards for bridge. Got a little tab here on this. And then this uh, little spread here. So this is some vintage uh, wrapping paper. I just love the uh, bright pink and orange colors and yellow. And then this is um, stationery. So then I also made this vellum envelope. Uh, I had an envelope come in the mail and I loved how the design of it was like the, you know, em the the flat part was really long all the way down and I love that design so I took that envelope apart and made a template out of it and I made some other envelopes. So here's just another uh, piece of the stationery here to go inside this vellum envelope. I just love that. So that goes in there and I love how the pink uh, shows through. So that goes there. It's paper clipped on. There's some fabric tabs all throughout. This one here has got a um, couple spots, uh, tablet pages. It says December. It has beautiful little cranberry or bead garland all the way around with little pieces of holly down here in the corner. It's really cute here, actually. Let me show you. It's really beautiful tablet paper. Uh, I got that on a haul too, uh, way, way back. Uh, so this is on here. You can definitely, um, this is just as a little bead of glue up here, but you can definitely rip it off and then collage over top of it or whatever. But I think this was really nice for Christmas list. Uh, maybe writing down who sent you cards that you need to send thank yous to or Christmas list. Okay, here's another page from the My Big Christmas book. Love, love the girls and the, I love their faces. So I, I made this one as the middle spread of this uh, signature. Just really pretty. I just actually, I'm just so in love with this book. All right. 
this page here. This is a uh, part of the work basket. I love the work basket. I have a whole bunch in a stash uh, that I got long, long, long time ago, and I've been using them little by little in all my journals, but I grabbed out the Christmas ones, and I did a took a whole day, basically, and made a whole bunch of ephemera and stuff for from the work basket. So here's one that shows a book with a Christmas tree. Uh, it says Christmas time is the season to show off your culinary skills with lots of homemade goodies for the family treats or those you especially wish to please. So this is a sugar cookie recipe. And then in here, here is another one of those vintage, uh, this one's a, a lot older. I think they said it was 40s, 50s, sorry, there you go. Uh, this is another one of those enclosure cards that I got uh, on eBay, one of my great finds. And again, a little journaling card, and it's just, these are so great. I don't know why more people don't use enclosure cards. <laughs> and then here is, um, these are, oh, like tickets, IOU type Christmas. It comes in a pad, and you tear them off, and they're like, you know, you give them. So Santa doesn't need to know. Redeem this for one movie night. You can pick the movie and tickets and popcorn at my treat. So those are just really cute. There's a whole book of a bunch of them. This is Santa sitting uh, on his chair there. So that's tucked in there. Here's the other side of the paper. Here I made a lace belly band. I just love this color of this poinsettia paper here. So I took some lace and made a belly band here. And here's a couple pieces of, um, actually it says 1992 <laughs> shape paper little tablet. Here is some, um, these are holiday, this is like a tear out postcard like book. I have two of them that's like Christmas, all Christmas related. So this one here has recipes. This one's cranberry chip cookies. And um, you can write notes on the back here. So that's tucked in here. And this is kind of a stretchy lace. So it's easy to get stuff in and out. And then I just used two pieces of the paper and I folded it over to do that. A little bit of stamping here. Okay, this one um, is a pocket and this is a uh, Christmas postcard again, thrifted. Uh, just love this old world Santa. So he's tucked in there. And then this one is uh, a recipe card love this one here too. I put a tab and put Heavenly Host uh, on this tab and so this makes a great journaling card. So that was really cute. Oops. Oh, Let's fix this right now. This little bit of tab came open. There we go. Okay. So that goes in there. Little tab here. So here's that ho 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 Merry Christmas, the top part of that stationery. Here's the other side of the the my big Christmas book. I love these little rabbits. Here's the top part of the stationery. Love this vintage stationery. I rounded the corners on a lot of these. Stamped here. This pocket I put uh, a couple pages of this little puppy with poinsettias uh, in here for uh, fun and for journaling. Here's a little eyelet tab that's red and this is another thing of my little work basket. So I sat one night, I had these little cards. Let me show you here. So, sorry for my reach. So let me show you. So I made a whole bunch of these keychains. So these keychains come with a little um, card. It's kind of just like a piece of cardstock that comes with in here in all these keychains to make a keychain. And so I had a bunch, there's more of those little cardstock pieces than there was the keychains because I got them from the th you know thrift store. So I thought, what am I going to do with them? They're already perfectly cut. 
and so I thought why not make these adorable little pieces of ephemera tags so what I did is I took the work basket again and I went and I cut out all these little pieces that are were Christmas related I mean I have a whole bunch of them that I just sat and did one day I mean I have a ton of them you know there's a cup of tea there's a lot here that I'm not I haven't finished but this one here is a Christmas present and there's wrapping paper and I put a little bit of washi and just cut this little tiny word out that says elves and I put it on a ball pin and I put a um, grommet here or um, not grommet eyelet and so it's a little journaling card and I just distress the edges on the back side so it just sits there uh, like that a little kind of like a little tag and I think I have one in every signature okay then I put this adorable little pom-pom uh, trim which is the maroon color because we've got the maroon color going here I put that on there okay this page or pocket has a couple more pieces of um, holiday journaling paper some lace love this one here's some more vintage stationery and then in this pocket take these out so this again is from the alphabet Christmas so this is S for Santa Claus stockings and sleigh so this is out of the children's book I cut it out I put it on to some cardstock and I made the decorative edge so I made a double pocket out of it so in there I stuck another one of those uh, naughty and nice um, tickets this is a naughty pass redeem this when you've been when you've done something not so nice your heart was in the right place after all so we'll just forget about it <laughs> I love these I picked these up at a thrift store and it was so cool so I tuck that in there and then I actually found at a thrift store a Christmas trivia and uh, it's vintage I don't have the box in front of me but I'm not sure it was probably maybe 70s 80s I would have to look but um, really cute so I tucked one of those in there they're really adorable and on the back it's got that so that's tucked in there uh, some more vintage stationery okay now on this one here this is I got in a set of cupcakes so basically what they are are these right here these are cupcake um, so there's little tabs here and they're you wrap it around and you put it into the slot and it makes you have a decorative holder for your cupcakes and they're actually cardstock and they were really cute um, they're not brand new but they're like in the 90s uh, maybe early 2000 so what I did is I cut the tabs off distressed the edge and I thought why not make a cute half circular pocket and then leave this open and what I did is I made this kind of vintage shaped um, bulb tag and again this is from of uh, the book page from the alphabet Christmas so this is B for bells ringing news of God's love so here's a nice journaling tag that's so it's on like a card stock you know like kind of like a back of a tablet and so then that tucks right in there and then the bottom of the um, bulb sticks out the bottom I just thought that was really cute I could probably do more to it but again I'll let the the owner do that so again here is another one of those little work basket tags that I made so this one I put with some yarn and on a paper clip this one here if you can see it it's a little tiny elf figurine and it talks about trim the tree edge with red and it talks about decorating and a little bit of washi gold washi up there if you can see it and on the back it's plain so that's another one oops so let's paper clip that back on there we go 
Okay, so this is vellum. It's got stars, some fabric tag. So here's another. Okay, <clears throat> here we've got a couple more uh, pieces of tablet paper, and it's just up here on some washi. <clears throat> another page, uh, middle spread for from the My Big Christmas book. Here's a little ornament tab. Here's some more, again, some more list paper. It's always good to have room for lots of list and writing room. Okay, now this one, um, this is a flip pocket that I made from, this is from an envelope. This is from an envelope that I did some collaging on and this is a book page from one of the Christmas books. On the back is some um, scrapbook paper and I left the flap from this book page to come out here to make it uh, onto the page. So it gave me a way to do my flipping here. And then here I made another journaling card, another alphabet one. Uh, N is for neighbors, their cold faces glowing. Isn't that so cute? It is adorable. <laughs> and uh, so it's on uh, some cardstock and lots of room for journaling. And it just goes in the pocket here, like that. Okay. A little die cut snowflake. That was really cute. Yellow to go with the yellow here. And then this here is a uh, book page from Holiday Recipe Book. And it's got sugar cookies, rich fresh brownies. Oh, look at that. Didn't even see this. Cookies packed in a fish bowl make a two way gift that's fun. <laughs> Oh, there's just all kinds of little tips here. Um, so anyways, here's some more candy apples, butterscotch, vanilla fudge, um, all ho holiday uh, oriented there. So I just took the whole thing out and put it on a paper clip um, with just a piece of fabric here. A little bit of stamping up here. This pocket have another one of those cards that you uh, tear out from the postcard book. This is carrot cranberry cake, and then there's cream cheese frosting on the back, so that's tucked in there. And then we're on the last signature. Of course, I had to add my uh, large pom pom trim. This I got on a haul from Hobby Lobby, I believe, here a little while ago. So there's that. A little bit of stamping here. Oh, I missed a page, sorry. Yep, missed a page. Okay, so here I have a book page. Um, Elizabeth Eliza, meanwhile, went into... Yeah, it's just some type of a winter story. I don't remember what book this is, but I made it into a pocket. And then I have some more tablet paper. And then um, I thrifted this. This is ChristmasFunGames.com. Um, I believe this is the score pad from the Christmas trivia that's that I showed just earlier. I believe this is the score pad from that game. So that's tucked in there. There we go. Now we're on this page. <laughs> Okay, and then I had to include, since these are caroler, carolers to go with the theme of the book, I had to throw in this vintage, um, this is, gosh, probably 30s, 40s, but how I put it in here so that I did not make a pocket, uh, only because you'll be opening it up and then journaling here, so I didn't make it a pocket, but I glued it this way 
so that you could open it and have all this space for gluing or put pictures here and then it would fold down so I just thought that was an adorable vintage um, uh, greeting card here's some more this is some um, stationery that's thrifted I love the pink Santa going on here so I put it <coughs> I put it with this pink um, excuse me uh, this is Kool-Aid dyed paper a little bit of stamping down here love this beautiful um, pink um, house here church scene the friends of Santa Claus I love all this stationery that I find um, I just love it um, this one's Noel put a little tag here some stamping another fabric tab here's some more paper again uh, a Christmas alphabet and then so I made this one the nice beautiful uh, middle spread for this one I just love that she's like shh I'm bringing presents <laughs> it's so cute so adorable okay now on this one here take that off this is a really neat paper clip I'll have to show you that and this little pocket here <coughs> here's some goodies <coughs> excuse me here's another one of um, those postcard tear outs so this one's kids holiday games and so it talks about uh, these types of games that you can play during the holidays and then there's a spot to write notes so that's tucked in there um, this is just a, a piece of children's he had red and white striped pajamas on so <laughs> I I tossed him in here he he looks mad but maybe he's on the naughty list I don't know <laughs> and then here's a fussy cut um, three French hens I just thought that was adorable so I s s tucked those in there and these are um, a paper clip and it's they're copper and I believe I have the packaging if I'm not mistaken oh I have the packaging but I cut off the top but they are um, really tiny, not tiny, thin paper clips um, made from copper. They're just really thin and uh, just a different type of a paper clip. So that little guy is on there and holds those on. All right. All right. And then for this one, this one here um, is a page out of um, it's out of a vintage magazine and she's got this is a old vintage magazine it's a pullover with double collar and it's a red sweater she has on and so I collaged it on with some of the work basket page here just did some a little bit of collaging there and so basically um, then I put some washi on the edge so this is basically just um, a big journaling card that uh, paper clips from the bottom just to have something a little bit different instead of always over the top little tab there um, love the edge of that paper some more of the book okay so then here is the second uh, cupcake wrapper um, this one is so beautiful and I put it on the pink paper because it just stands out so nice and then here I made another little journaling card this one's got another one of those little red it has a little red flower here at the top and this one is um, F is for flower so pretty to see and it's got the poinsettia there so it's a journaling card and so I just thought that was perfect to tuck in there like that some more stamping and then here is the last um, here's the last little work basket tab that I made it's just stuck on here some washi this comes off I didn't glue it uh, so this one here is I think it was like a DIY and so you could take a canning jar or a pickle jar and tip it upside down and like put a figurine in it or something um so it was yeah and then I put some washi there and then of course the back um is just plain for you to journal on so that was so cute so that's the last one 
And then this one here is also a cupcake liner. So this one is, I don't know if I have, oh, I thought I had one sitting out so I could show you what the cupcake liner looked like. So this was at the bottom of the cupcake. So I cut that out and then this is the, you know, the, th the fluted part, you know, of the cupcake liner. And I just kind of made it a little, uh, you know, paper fan here and glued that on to um, a piece of a paint chip, you know, card. And then this is a little ornament sticker. So that's on there. And then this is our last page. So this one here um, is another book page that I put on cardstock. Did some collaging with some fabric and a little candy cane here. Here is another one of those enclosure cards. Oh my gosh, I just love these. So, and this one is 2019. So this one's not as old. And then I put um, another card over here. So here is a, from the vintage um, reminisce book. So this is like an advertisement of the White Christmas movie when it came out. And so it's back on to some cardstock. So it's another journaling spot there. And then this is the last page. And then so this one um, is another little journaling card that I made with some little eyelet trim. This is a book page, a little boy shoveling snow, some fabric. And then there's some fabric collaged on the back so you can write on it. And so there we are. So there is the finished, finally, and the last <laughs> um, Christmas journal I will be doing this year uh, for sale in my Etsy shop. So this will go up if the video is up, and then it's the journal's ready to go. So hopefully you enjoyed this flip through, and um, it was so much fun. It was so much fun making this journal and it's so cute and it was something different and I'll definitely do it again uh, if if I see a uh, album you know that uh, strikes my fancy so it's really pretty and it was fun to do so hopefully it finds a good home and uh, I'll have some more videos coming up just to finish out the year. Um, I have a little haul, thrift store haul to do, and I've got some other little projects I'll share, like my like my keychains. Um, so I've got a lot of bunch of different little videos that I can do between now and, and Christmas. So hopefully everyone is doing well and staying healthy, and we will see you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.